Hi, I'm Nancy with Icon Apprentice and welcome back to our tutorial for St. Francis of Assisi. And today we're going to be highlighting the designs on the book and we'll be continuing with our flesh. I'm going to show you I've already highlighted I've already highlighted the uh, decor or the design on the front of this book and I'm going to be showing you how I did that with this one. So as we begin each time we will say our prayers and offer up the intentions which we intend to write into this icon. So I have taken the Prussian blue. Previously we had mixed some unbleached titanium and we did this first color. This is just the second color with an additional amount, just a dollop, I mean a very small amount of unbleached titanium again to make this lighter color. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go in and we're just going to add some highlights to what we've already laid down. So we're using our flesh one and I will have the recipe for the mixture for our flesh one uh, in the description box. So hopefully I have this uh, camcorder close enough so that you're going to be able to really see uh, very well what we're doing here with the flesh. And I'm going to try to, let me try to get this even closer. I want you to really be able to see well exactly how we're applying this flesh color. I am going to be using my number six brush, of course. Always use the largest brush that you possibly can when you start out. And we'll get just a little bit of water and a little bit of our flesh one color 
And if we need to, we'll get a little bit of our flow medium. And of course, what we're looking for is a really nice creamy consistency, uh, like heavy cream. Most of this Sankir color is going to be covered by our flush wand. So there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, Sankir peeking through. There may be a little bit. Let's see what we get. So the first thing we will do is, of course, we will start on the features of the face. And so let's start with the nose. And the lips. A little bit of a chin. If you reference the color copy, you're going to see there will be a shadow underneath this bottom lip and a little shadow right in here. Uh, and a tiny chin, but we, it's going to be obscured a little bit because of the beard. So we'll have just a tiny chin, a little bit of a chin suggested there. So right underneath this bottom lip and we will do the brow and remember on this we're starting out we're pulling it up almost all the way to the hair. You can still see the hairline in here. Go all the way over to the hair. We will do the eyelids. leaving the eyebrow area. Hopefully you can see that. Coming in from the nose, we're leaving a tiny line there beside the nose. I'm just smoothing out a couple of lines. I'm being very careful though because we definitely could start lifting that paint. You can see that there. We will go under the eye. And alongside the nose. And pull this out. going almost all the way over to the cheek here around the mouth remember leaving dark here leaving some dark here coming out to the cheek
trying to make this as smooth as we can, but don't get too excited or too worried if we have a little bit of lines happening. Let's do the ear. I'm leaving a tiny line inside the ear just as some contrast. Let's do under the eye on this side. Down beside the nose. going down all the way because we are going to be filling this in with beard so I'm not doing too much down here a little bit on the ear here And then the neck. Remember this first coat, we're covering just almost everything. It's a very light coat, and the second coat that we're going to be coming in and doing, we will lighten up and not put it on every bit of the hands and the face. I am leaving just a little bit of a line between the fingers to try to distinguish those. All right, and there's our first coat of flesh. On the hands and on the face. Let's move to our other icon and we will repeat this process.
All right. Now, so far I haven't done the top of the head, and that's something that we'll go back and do. I think before we get too much further in, let's go in and let's put in the beard and the hair, and that way we kind of know what we're working around. Looks a little bit red right now, but we'll go back in and we'll put some uh, darker color on there. Probably a little bit of the um, burnt umber, which was the original lines that we uh, did everything with. You can see how dark that is. But I'm putting this uh, just to give us a base, give us an idea of where we want to be with the facial hair. All right, so let's go back now. Now that we can see where the hair is going to go, let's just go back and let's put the first coat of flesh here on the top of the head. And you can see I put it on very lightly here, a little bit heavier, closer to the hairline. And that is the way that we are going to apply this. Uh, very bright, very, very bright right in here, but fairly dark on the edges and on the edges here. So this is where we'll start building our brightness, get really bright here, and then start fading back into a darker color there.